Hello everyone, and in this video we're reviewing the iPhone 12 in 2022. Is this any good? Let's find out. So iPhone 12 came out on the October 23rd, 2020, and, and it was the predecessor of the iPhone 11. It came out also in six different colors. As you can see, these are the colors of the phone. The main new things that the iPhone 12 introduced is the 5G, the square design, which is so reminiscent to the iPhone 5. And the screen, because now the iPhone 12 has the OLED display, uh, which was previously only available in the um, most premium iPhones, such as the 10s and 11 Pro. So first, let's talk about the body of this phone. As I've shown you, this is so reminiscent of the iPhone 5 and the older models, such as 4S and 4. Personally, I like how this iPhone looks like. It's just so industrial now, and I like uh, these edges of the phone. The phone isn't as comfortable as the previous models to hold in hand, uh, because these edges are basically uh, getting into your hand and it's it's just not as comfortable as the oval iPhone 11 and previous models but it looks much better and finally your iPhone can stand on the desk like this so it's also a nice feature to have <laughs> the dimensions of the phone are 5.78 inches tall 2.82 inches wide and 0.29 inches thick so the size of the iPhone 12 is just a little bit smaller than the iPhone 11. And because of this, it's just more similar to the iPhone uh, 11 Pro than the predecessor, which is the iPhone 11. Screen. So as iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 also has the 6.1 inch screen. It's better screen. It has a resolution of 5532 by 1170 uh, with, the, with the PPI of 460. And it is the OLED display, which is much better than the previous generations of iPhones with the LCD displays, because the colors now on the iPhone 12 are also much more brighter and uh, vibrant, and also the blacks are much deeper and uh, more true. It's a really nice display. I have to say that using the, this display, this screen on this iPhone is just phenomenal. Uh, you can just watch your movies, Netflix, or anything like this comfortably and definitely recommend it in terms of the screen. One more thing to point out is that the screen now is just flat. It's just really flat and it's covered with the Cyanamic Shield. Apple calls it the Cyanamic Shield, which is a protective layer of some uh, material. So it shouldn't just scratch as much as the previous generations of battery. So battery on the iPhone 12 is just smaller than the iPhone 11 with a capacity of 5815 milliampere hours while the iPhone 11 had 3810 milliampere hours but because the new A14 bionic chip is just so efficient the iPhone doesn't consume that much power so the battery life is just pretty similar to the iPhone 11 now let's talk about the new processor of this iPhone 12 so iPhone 12 introduced the new processor the A14 bionic chip and yes, in benchmarks, you will see a difference in compared to the iPhone uh, 13, let's say, and the other models, but I gotta say this iPhone is just really, really snappy. And in terms of overall usage of the phone, you won't see any difference in, in, in compared to the iPhone 13. There's no chance you will. You can also play your latest games, um, such as Genshin Impact or others. I've tested these games uh, on my channel as well, so click on the right upper corner to see the video. The processor of this thing is just phenomenal, what else can I say? In terms of Apple support of the iOS, uh, I think you there's nothing to worry about, like this phone is just one year old and an iPhone 6s that came out in 2015 now has 7 years and it's still supported by the Apple, so this shows how the longevity is just important for Apple products and you will definitely be able to use this phone for the next 5 years at least. As the iPhone 13 and 11, the iPhone 12 also has just 4GB of memory 
which is fine. It's still really usable and uh, you won't see any kind of a glitches on the iOS when you're loading some apps or anything like this. Everything is just so snappy and there's nothing to worry about. Uh, four gigabytes is just enough. Now let's talk about the camera of this phone. So as you can see, it has two lenses, the ultra wide angle lens and the main lens. So uh, in terms of photos, it takes similar photos to the iPhone 11 and previous generations. Um, so the photos that came out of this uh, camera are pretty much similar to the iPhone 11. Um, you get all the same features, you get all the same things as on the iPhone 11. In terms of recording, uh, this iPhone records up to 4K and 60 frames per second. And here's the recording sample, so just check it out. Hello, so this is a test of the camera on the iPhone 12. We're at um, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And the main lens, this is the main lens. And now when I switch to the ultra wide, you can see that this uh, ultra wide gives us much more view angle. So yeah, let me know how you like this. This is the recording sample as I'm walking. The ultra wide. The recording sample as I'm running. And this is the test of the front facing camera. Let me know how you like this image and stabilization. So now let's just try it out. Yeah, as I'm running, you can see that the image stays pretty stable. In terms of speakers, the iPhone 12 has uh, stereo speakers which play really well and there's nothing to, to complain about, they are really good speakers. And microphones on this thing are amazing as well. Uh, you can talk normally on this phone and uh, it's just working pretty well, there's nothing to worry about. iPhone 12 also has a feature called Face ID so uh, you can actually unlock your phone with the face and it's really fast. And reliable. All right, so I think that's all for the iPhone 12 review. Do I still recommend the iPhone 12 in 2022? Absolutely, it's just an amazing phone. You can find amazing deals on the used markets such as eBay or Mercari, and it's just much cheaper now than compared to the newest and greatest iPhone 13. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and see me in the next video. Bye.